Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirajul Akhwazi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about photometry. What is photometry? In simple language, you should know is the most common analytical technique used in the biochemical laboratory. It is designed to measure the intensity of a beam of light intensity of a beam of light the next important point is photometric principles are applied to the several kind of analytical techniques where absorbed or transmitted light is measured colorimeter spectrophotometry atomic absorptions and turbidimetry where emitted light is measured flame photometers. Now, the components of most photoelectric uh, colorimeters are basically the same and the basic method of operation is also similar for uh, all the instruments. The analytical chemistry colorimeter is a technique used to determine the concentration of colored compounds analyzed in sample solution at visible spectrum of light 400 to 700. Properties of light. You know light is the visible spectrum of electromagnetic radiation emitted in the form of wave of the different wavelengths range from 380 nanometer to 750 nanometers. Now electromagnetic spectrum. What is spectro electromagnetic spectrum? Wavelength starting from 400 to 700. Now colors and wavelength. Color ultraviolet, violet, blue, green, greenish blue, bluish green, uh, green, yellowish green, yellow, orange, red, and yellow. Frog. Wavelength less than 380, 380 to 435. 436 to 480 nanometer, 491 to 490, 492 to 500, 501 to 560, 561 to 580, 581 to 590, 5, yellow, and 596 to 650 nanometer, and 651 to 780 and greater than 780 nanometer. Now, principle of photometry. Substance to be measured by photometry must be colored to begin with or can be made to produce color derivatives by using certain reagents and reagents. Intensity of color produced is proportional to the concentration of color producing substance present in solution. Colored substance absorb light of a particular wavelength and extent of light absorption depends on the concentration of color producing substance in solution. Now, a characteristic uh, wavelength of absorption spectrum is isolated from light passing it through filter monochromatic. Solution with colored substance is kept in a cuvette and allowed the uh, substance to absorb light. Degree of light absorption by a solution of unknown concentration is proportional to degree of light absorption by some same solute in a solution of known concentration. Substance of unknown concentration is measured by comparing with same absorption substance in another solution of known concentration. Means the colorimeter. Colored solution have the properties of absorbing certain wavelength of light when a monochromatic light is passed through them. The amount of light absorbed or transmitted by a colored solution is in accordance with two laws, Bayer's law and Lambert's law. This law states that the intensity of transmitted light decreases exponentially with the increase in concentration of colored substance in the solution. The amount of light absorbed by a colored solution is directly proportional to the concentration of substance in the solution. Now you can see the Bayer's law. You know the Lambert's law. This law states that the intensity of transmitted light decreases exponentially with increase in the length of the light path diameter of the wave. The amount of light absorbed by a colored substance is directly proportional to the length of the path length. So transmittance, what is transmittance? 
It is the ratio of intensity of transmitted light to the intensity of incident light across the solution. It is expressed as percentage transmittance and transmutation is inversely proportional to the logarithmically proportional to the concentration. Now what is absorbance? OD. It is the amount of light absorbed by a colored substance. OD may be defined as the logarithm ratio of incident light to the transmitted light. So A is equal to log 1 by T, log 10, 100 by 10 is equal to 2 log 10 T. Absorbance is directly and inversely proportional to concentration. So relationship between the absorbance and transmittance you can see here. So combining Beers and Lambert's law, combining the two laws, A directly proportional to C and C and L, A is equal to KCL. You know absorbance of the test uh, concentration of the solution, absorbance of the standard solution, concentration of a standard solution. So A T is equal to K into C T into L, A S is equal to K into C S into L. So A T by A S is equal to K into C T multiplied by L, K into C S multiplied by L. So A T by A S and C T by C S. So C T is equal to A T divided by A S into multiplied by C S. So C T is equal to A T by A S into C S is equal to O D T divided by O T S multiplied by C S. So concentration of the solution absorbance of test divided by absorbance of a standard multiplied by concentration of a standard. Concentration of test um, absorbance of the test absorbance of a standard concentration of a standard into 100 and etc. So a standard calibration curve. The standard uh, curve is prepared to check whether the method of assaying a, a particular a substance follow Beer's law. That is whether the absorbance of the substance increases in a linear way with uh, its concentration. The standard curve is constructed by plotting the vertical axis y axis ordinance for optical intensity absorbance and the horizontal axis x axis uh, abscissa the concentration of standard solution. You know the concentration of test are unknown and can be measured from the uh, wave, uh, length. So standard curve and calibrated curve you can see this graph uh, is absorbance versus glucose standard and concentration milligram per liter example of uh, one calibration curve obtained for the glucose enzymatic method for seven glucose standard with uh, concentration ranging from uh, 50 to 200 milligram per liter now preparation of solution for investigation in calorimeter estimation it is necessary to prepare three solution blank standard and test a blank to compensate any non-specific color, the set the instrument 100% transmittance and zero uh, OD water blank reagents blank. Now solution of known concentration of substance both OD and concentrations are known. So concentration of unknown can be calculated. Test solution is made by treating a specific volume of the test sample with reagents as per procedure. So call implementary color. The wavelength between 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer from the visible spectrum of light. Light passes through the solution which selectively absorbs radiation at a fixed wavelength. Then the color of the transmitted light is complemented to that of the absorbed light. So my friends, color and complementary color of visible spectrum. Color of the solutions, solutions, color transmitted, yellow, red, blue and green. Now you can see the filter use colors uh, observed on yellow, green and red, green, uh, yellow, blue and red, green and blue, or yellow and green, red. And then wavelength 450 to 479, 500 uh, to 5, 505 to 534, uh, 5, uh, 640 to 689 and 620 to 689. You can see the picture of colorimeters, uh, you can see the light source, you can see the colorimeter lens, and you can see the monochromator prism, uh, wavelength selector which is slits and I naught, I sample solution. Now you can see the uh, digital display or meter. So components of colorimeter, light source, the light source is usually a tungsten lamp for the wavelength in the visible range 322. 700 nanometer and deuterium or hydrogen lamp for the ultraviolet light below uh, 350 nanometer. Tungsten lamp, visible range, deuterium and hydrogen lamp, UV range, uh, black body radiation, nearest global infrared radiation.
application. Monochromator or filter this device used for a spectral isolation light of single wavelength and this means of selecting a sufficient narrow wave band. Filter SBW where 50 nanometer wide band uh, pass monochromator. Prism SBW 5 to 10 or less than 5 nanometer narrow band pass monochromator. Difference getting SBW is 50 to 20 nanometer. Now monochromator. Early monochromator use absorption filter, glass filter, gelatin filter that transmitted a wide segment of a spectrum. Ne newer instrument use interface filter that consists of thin layer of magnesium fluoride crystal with a, a semi um, transparent coating of silver or on each side. Monochromatic consists of entrenched lead absorptions in foot interface filter and prism or different uh, diffractions grating for the wavelength selection and exit slit. So, my friend, you can see the different types of simple holder cubit, cubit are rectangular, cell, uh, square cell, or uh, circular uh, one made up of optical glass for visible wavelength, quartz or fused silica for UV. Common one is square rectangular to avoid reflection RT. Fact optical path length of cubit is always 1 cm, capacity may be 3 ml or 2 ml and 1 ml depending upon the thickness of the wall of the cubit for accurate and precise reading cubit must be transparent clean and devoid of any scratches and there should be no bubble adhering to the inner surface of the filter uh, uh, field cubit photosensitive detector what is detectors are uh, transducer which convert light energy to electrical energy a detector should be possess the following characteristics should be sensitive stable should uh, have uh, linear response should response different detectors used are barrier layer cells photo cells and photoconductive cell uh, photodiodes readout device you know the detector response can be measured by any of the following device galvanometer arm meter recorder digital readout the signal may be transmitted to computer or print out device Criteria for satisfactory colorimetric estimation, stability of color, intensity of color, the color of the solution should be intense and clarity of the solution, substance under investigation should be completely soluble, specificity color produced should be specific for the desired constituents, validity of Bayer's law, the intensity of color should be proportional to the concentration. Now application of colorimeters. You know, estimation of biochemical compound in blood, plasma, serum, CSF, urine, glucose, urea, creatinine, uric acid, bilirubins, lipids, total proteins, enzymes, and minerals. Now, spectrophotometry, you can see the instruments and application. Principle of spectrophotometer solutes in solu uh, solute in solution show characteristic absorption spectrum UV or visible or infrared of the electromagnetic radiation. Characteristic absorption spectrum can be isolated by passing through electromagnetic radiation through a prism monochromator. You know the degree of absorption of electromagnetic radiation depends on the concentration of solute in solution. You can see the pictorial diagram. You can see the spectrophotometer display and control simple compartment source monochromator and detector. This is the instrumentation technique uh, single beams and double beam. Uh, so, you can see the instrument's light source provide a sufficient of light which is suitable for market making the instrument. A light source optically yield a high object of a polychromatic light over a wide range of the spectrum. Now, common monochromator filter prism diffraction grating and uh, interference filter. With a monochromator except polychromatic input light from a lamp and outputs monochromatic light. Monochromators consist of these parts in translate, collimating lens or mirror, dispersion elements, uh, focusing lens or mirror, exit slips. Now you can see the instruments, this uh, person's device, a special plate with a hundred of parallel grooves uh, lines. The grooves lines act to separate the white light into the visible light spectrum. The more lines, the smaller the wavelength resolutions. Now you see the instrumentations, focusing device, combination of lenses, slits and mirrors, uh, relay and focus light through the instruments. Now instruments, you know, cubit designed to hold a sample for 
spectroscopic cement made of plastic glass or optical grade quartz mm, should be as clear as